Almost good. I almost good. I'll have some else to do with it tomorrow. Okay, you know, me and Tom are going to be going over to a cookout. So, you stay here in the house. We'll be right back soon. Okay? Oh! I'll take that as a yes. See ya, Dino. Oh, and by the way, Dino, uh, I have a package that's coming in in about five minutes, so be sure to not destroy it when I get back, okay? I hope that silence means a yes. See ya, Dino. Well, I'm all alone. Okay, let me see if I can do this first before I do anything fun. <laughs> you know what? That's good enough for me. What now? TV. Toy. TV. Toy. TV's boring right now. I'm gonna go with toy. Ugh. Get back here. Oh, 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 so good. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, is this what Tom was talking about? Looks so weird. And why is this thing on top? <laughs> why would that be part of this? <laughs> this is a recorded oh. analytic program readout to be utilized by engineering personnel exclusively. Yeah. Mm. We will start with a physical description of the external components already. Let us begin. At the upper right of the modular system console, you will note the longitudinally polarized antenna, resulting in a completely unitized composite sheet. This unique design is virtually indestructible and is, of course, guaranteed for the life of the unit. The longitudinally polarized antenna functions primarily as an attenuated parametric selector for the recycling binary alternator. There is an alarm system located next to the antenna, which rings if any portion of this machine is damaged. If this alarm rings, the only way it can be silenced is by locating the origin of the malfunction. Now immediately adjacent to the alarm is the digital iambic generator. This is probably the most valuable component in the entire system, and as such it should be handled with extreme care. If you were to look inside this unit, you would find a string of delicately balanced H14 analog capacitators. It takes over 185 man hours to produce a capacitator, because each one must be painstakingly assembled with a 301 electromicrometer. These capacitators are connected into the dual exhaust intake valve. The quantum polarization of the energy transfer involved herein results in the emission of a small amount of gaseous methane, which is a mere 2 dBs of this gas are enough to kill an elephant, so extreme precaution should be taken before disengaging any part of this component. If for any reason this unit is tampered with, the 90-day warranty on the system is invalidated. The system is invalidated. The system is invalidated. Auxiliary coordinates. Now over on top of the intercellular power generator, you will see a spherical voltage oblongata. It should be noted that this is a rather expensive piece of equipment. Replacement costs range in the area of two to three thousand dollars each. The Gandalf pentometer on the left hand side of the unit is also extremely expensive because it contains a 17 joule movement of chromatic titanium. 
By way of contrast, the Doppler supplemented magneto located on the front of the generator can be purchased in any hardware store for about 37 cents. See, I told you that barbecue wasn't so bad. I don't know, something tells me we might get food poisoned a little bit later down the line. Well, it doesn't matter. We're home anyways, and your package should be with Dino. Right, Dino? What? Oh, hey guys. Uh, yeah, sorry Tom, I kind of accidentally, um, broke your machine. I was kind of hungry. But I did make this side of the Rubik's Cube white, and that makes pretty better. Dino, you had one job. One job. And you blew it. I said I was sorry, and I tried to fix it. Well, I mean, you did decide to let him be in charge of your package. And you know how Dino is, you know. Yeah, that is true. Sorry, Dino. Uh. What are we gonna do now? Who wants pizza? Me!